guys hi welcome back so how are you doing today today's topic is quite exciting and interesting because this is something we all need to focus on a lot of my students find it very very useful to focus on this and they definitely score higher in their writing and speaking section yes the much dreaded phrasal verbs what on earth are they and how should you use them not only in IELTS, you can in fact use them in general walk of life. It could also be for your office meetings, talking to your colleagues, even at school or universities at an academic scenario. It could be for job interview. It could also be normally talking to your friends as well. Phrasal verbs are quite common. They show that you are strong in your linguistic and you have a good command over the English language. Now, before we start, I take live classes on an academy. If you want to attend my classes and be taught by me live, then you have to go and join the Unacademy courses. Manjita Osta is my referral code. Take that code and get straight 10% off. How to join it? What is the process? I will tell you in this video. Let's quickly jump onto today's session and start with phrasal verbs. Okay? Any verb verb is an action item right any verb added by a preposition or an adverb becomes a phrasal verb all right well let me give you some examples quickly so that you can understand what phrasal verbs are how to use them and how you can use in your writing section or even in your speaking section okay so let's see the first one count on count on now we see count, yes, that's a verb to count something. On is a preposition, correct? But when count on is joined together, it becomes a phrasal verb and the meaning changes completely. Count on basically means to trust someone, okay? For example, whenever I need some help in my office presentations, I can always count on my colleague Jack count on someone to trust someone okay so you can also use this and try to think what sentences can you make with the word count on all right let's move on to this second phrasal verb give up give up give up it means to quit right you would have heard this this is quite common but did you know this is a phrasal verb until now give means to give something up means something else separately, correct? Up, higher up, up. But when you join them, give up. It means to quit, okay? Never give up till you get your desired band in your IELTS exam. How's that, right? Well, let's move on to the next phrasal verb. Hang out, hang out. Together, it means to meet your friends, to chill, to chill out, meet someone without an agenda, you know, just to spend time, hang out. So you can say that I usually hang out with my friends on weekends, especially Sunday evening. So this question can be asked in your IELTS speaking section that what's your hobby or when do you meet your friends? Then you can use the word hang out. Okay, you can say I love hanging out with my friends. All right, and that's how you can use it. Hang out. Well, before we move on to the next word, Unacademy is India's largest online platform. I teach live there. It's very simple to go and book your classes with me. All you have to do is just go and take a subscription. Let me quickly show you that. So you'll download the Unacademy app. That's what the logo looks like. And once you're in it, you go to Plus Courses. That's where I teach live. There are many courses to choose from, but your goal obviously will be IELTS. So choose IELTS from there. It takes you to the plus page and to the subscription option. It ranges from one month to 12 months. Choose as per your requirement. Then you move on to the payment section. Enter Manjita Osta as referral code and get straight 10% discount. Go ahead, make the payment and join my classes. So wasn't that simple and quick and easy? I'll see you at the class. All right. Well, let's quickly jump on to the fourth phrasal verb of ours and that is knock down, knock down. 
it means to cause something to fall over all right so the wind knocked down the tree in front of my apartment yesterday you know knock down fall to cause something to fall down all right let's move on to the next one put away put away all right simple it means to keep something out of sight just put it away all right i told my child to put away his toys before the party started put away all right well let's move on to the next phrasal verb now this one has three words in it come down with come is a verb it's followed by down and with okay come down with what does it mean it means usually to get sick like let me help you with the sentence my neighbor had come down with a bad cold and hence stayed at home yesterday my neighbor was sick so come down with so you can change the tenses be careful of the tenses depending on what tense you're using in the sentence all right otherwise come down with is to be sick come down with a cold come down with fever you know it means to to be sick all right let's see the next one now i'm going to pick up few words few action items few verbs and show you they might sound similar these phrasal verbs but they are different okay so let me give you a few examples for example bring on and bring it on they're two different phrasal verbs they mean completely different things bring on it means to cause something to happen usually negative okay so the sentence can be his lung cancer was brought on by years of smoking bring on to cause something to happen all right whereas bring it on have you heard this it's quite famous right it means to accept a challenge and that too with confidence you know it's like do you want to have a race bring it on i will definitely beat you okay so bring it on you if if you're pretty confident about something you'll say hey bring that on you know so that these two are two different though it might sound similar bring on bring it on be careful about them all right now let's do something similar with the word come okay so we'll be talking about come in come across and come forward come in come across come forward all three of them might sound similar because it starts with come but they are very different okay so let's start with come in it means to enter pretty simple right he asked me to just come in as the door was open come in please come in the door is open please come in here i am sitting at the right come in okay the next one come across it means to meet or to find something by chance like you weren't looking for it and it just you happen to find it so i was cleaning my attic and i came across my old journal can you believe that come across i came across my old journal come across something which you find unexpectedly now let's see what come forward means it basically means to volunteer for something come forward right so the police are encouraging people to come forward and provide any information available regarding the crime come forward right so well these are phrasal verbs i've give you given you enough there are tons of them um on the internet but please don't get confused remember that it's great to use phrasal verbs in your writing and your speaking section but they should be relevant please don't just mug up phrasal verbs and try to impress the examiner and add one phrasal verb in every sentence of yours don't do that okay it's good to use few very few but they should fit in really well in your sentences okay well you know it all don't worry practice drop in your sentences and you already know that you are my rockstar and you will be a champion soon so come join the classes on an academy 
Manjita Osta is my referral code. Get 10% off straight. Save your money and see you at my class. Bye. Take care.